Hi, everybody. This is Jay Crown live from the Augustana, Illinois Wesleyan men's basketball game. We have a big game here tonight. As the standings in the CCIW reflect, we have Illinois Wesleyan on top of the league at 9 and 2. Augustana just a half a game behind at 9 and 3. So if the Vikings can uh, pull off a win tonight, they will move ahead of Illinois Wesleyan into first place. Wheaton is tied with the Vikings at 9 and 3, also a half a game behind Illinois Wesleyan. For Illinois Wesleyan, 16 and 6 record overall, 9 and 2 CCIW mark. The expected starters tonight will be uh, number four, Jim Lehan, six foot, senior guard out of DeKalb. The other guard position, number 22, Adam Doxus, 6'3, out of Homewood Flossmoor. At the forward slots, number 30, Zach Freeman. 6'7 freshman from Bloomington Normal Community. At number 32, Keelan Emilianovich, a 6'6 sophomore from Naperville, Niqua Valley. And at the third forward position, number 42, Corey Jones, 6'6 sophomore out of Calumet City, Thornwood High School. For the Augustana Vikings, 15 and eight overall, nine and three CCIW mark. It's senior night here at Augie, and uh, the Vikings will start four seniors on senior night. Number 20, Drew Carstens, 6'2 guard out of Downers Grove, Downers Grove North High School. Number 22, Jim Thomas, 5'9 senior out of Wheaton, Illinois, Wheaton North High School. Number 32, Joe Bauman, 6'3 guard out of Clifton Park, New York. Number 34, Brad Novak, 6'5 senior out of Rock Island. And number 40, Sean Clements, 6'6 senior out of Lake Zurich. Uh, tonight's game should be an exciting game here. A uh, large crowd on hand already at the, at the uh, Carver Center here on Augustana campus. We look forward to a great game. Uh, when these two teams met earlier this year, it was a uh, nip and tuck battle with uh, with Wheaton pulling it out on a um, last second shot, 78-77 in overtime. As I was saying uh, in the first meeting between these two teams back on January 12th, Illinois Wesleyan topped the Vikings 78-77 in overtime on a last second basket by Zach, Zach Freeman uh, with just two seconds on the clock in overtime. In that game, Drew Carson's led the way for Augie with 29 points. Sean Clements was the only other Viking in double figures with 13. Uh, for the Titans in the first meeting, uh, they had all five, or they had five players in double figures, led by Emilianovic with 17. One of the keys uh, that kept the Vikings in that game was a huge rebounding uh, margin, 41 to 29 advantage to the Vikings. Uh, Brad Novak pulled down 14 boards in that game, so I look for the Vikings to try to work the ball inside tonight, try to uh, get Clements, Novak. Gierke, Hoyt, all involved in that uh, interior offense, and also to hit the hit the board strong again. We also would like to mention tonight is is senior night here at Augustana. Six seniors for the Vikings. Uh, they have some really nice looking posters up on the uh, the uh, upper balcony here um, of, the, of the senior players. Of course, uh, the, the starters, Drew Karstens, Jim Thomas, Brad Novak, Sean Clements, have all had stellar careers here. Bill Gerke has been a uh, sometimes starter and a, and a top reserve in his four years. And then uh, also Aaron Thompson. 
So those four, or those six Vikings will be uh, playing their last game here in the Carver P Center. So that'll probably be a pretty emotional start to the game for these seniors. And look for them to put out a little extra effort tonight on senior night to lead the Vikings hopefully to a victory over Illinois Wesleyan and into first place in the CCIW. Right now they're going to introduce the six Viking seniors and their parents here to the uh, crowd. They have helped raise the level and notoriety of the Vikings since that very first year when they were part of the school's first ever win over NCAA Division I school, a 76-71 victory at Western Illinois University. Heading into tonight's game, this group has compiled a cumulative record of 69 wins with only 29 losses and a college conference of Illinois and Wisconsin mark of 38 and 16. Augustana was fourth in the CCIW in this group of freshmen, second as sophomores, and the Vikings were tried champions during their junior year. In their career, they have compiled 40 wins in 45 games in front of you, the Carver Faithful. And now let's hear it for the seniors. Now they're going to introduce these six seniors here. Uh, to this large crowd at the Augie P Center. First introduction is number 50, Aaron Thompson, 6'7", senior from Greenville, Pennsylvania. His parents, Curtis and Catherine Thompson. Next introduction is Bill Gierke, 6'6", senior from South Barrington, Hoffman Estates High School. He's been a key reserve for the Vikings, occasional starter over his four years here. Brad Novak, 6'5", forward from Rock Island. And his parents, Mary Jo and Larry Novak. Sean Clements, a center from Lake Zurich High School in Lake Zurich. Sean Clements, 6'6 six, six center from Lake Zurich High School, Lake Zurich, Illinois. And I understand the history to score 1,000 points. Sean was named 17 all conference last year. He's a business major, the son of Aaron and Mike Clements. His parents, Karen and Mike Clements. Jim Thomas, a guard and team co-captain from Wheaton North High School in Wheaton. Jim Thomas, 5'9 guard, co-captain from Wheaton North High School, Wheaton, Illinois. And the son of Donna and Mike Thomas. Don and Mike Thomas, his parents. And Drew Carstens, a guard and team co-captain from Downing's Grove North High School. Drew Carstens, those aren't booze you're hearing, but chance of Drew, 6'2", senior, from Downers Grove North High School, Downers Grove, Illinois. Drew enters tonight's game as the second leading scorer in Augusta history with 1,791 points. He holds a school record for free throws made and attempted for both a single season and career. And has been a first team all time.
to his parents, Paulette and Rick Karstens. Drew's the second all-time leading scorer in Augustana history with 1,791 points. Also holds the record for most free throws made and attempted in a single season and a career. Wow, this is a great crowd here tonight. Really getting fired up here with the introduction of these six seniors on senior night. Let's look for big things out of these six guys tonight. And hopefully it's the impetus to really get this crowd into the game from the start. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the Carver P. Center for the Augustana, Illinois Wesleyan matchup and the introduction of the starting lineups here on our Family Ties production. This is Jay Crone. And starting tonight, first for the Titans from Illinois Wesleyan. At forward, 6'7 freshman, number 30, Zach Freeman from Bloomington. Number 32, Keelan Emilianovic, 6'6 sophomore from Naperville. Number 42, Corey Jones, 6'6 sophomore, Thornwood High School, Calumet City, Illinois. Number 22, Adam Dalksis, 6'3 sophomore, Homewood Flossmore. <laughs> Excuse me. And number four, Jim Leham, six foot senior, DeKalb, Illinois. And now for your Augustana Vikings. Fifteen and eight overall record, nine and three CCIW record. At forward, 6'5", senior, Brad Novak, Rock Island, Illinois. At forward, 6'3", junior, Clifton. Other forward, 6'3", junior, Joe Bauman, Clifton Park, New York. The center, number 40. 6'6", senior, Sean Clements, Lake Zurich, Illinois. The one guard, number 22, 5'9", senior, Jim Thomas, Wheat North High School, Wheaton, Illinois. The other guard, number 20, Drew Carston, 6'2", senior, Downers Grove North High School, Downers Grove, Illinois. Wow, fans, I think we're ready for a great game here tonight. It's a large crowd, everybody's fired up. These two teams had a great matchup back in early January at Illinois Wesleyan when uh, the Titans pulled out a 78-77 overtime victory over the Vikings. They won that on a uh, last second shot by Zach Freeman. We're ready for tip-off here. Jumping will be number 40 for the Vikings, Sean Clements. Number 42, Corey Jones for the Titans. And this crowd is pumped up tonight. Tip goes to the Vikings, Jim Thomas controls. Brings it into the front court, over to Karstens. Karstens back to Novak, over to Thomas. Dribbles off front, shot clock's down to 20 seconds. Karsten's looking into Clements, back out front to Bauman. <coughs> Over in the corner to Thomas, back out front to Karsten's. Looks to Bauman in the corner, into Clements. Turn around, baseline jumper, rattles in and out. Number four, Jim Leehan pulls the rebound down for the Titans. Brings it into the front court, over to Jones. To Doxis, to Emilianovic. Back to Jones, over to Lehan. Good pressure defense by the Vikings. 
in the middle it goes to number 30. Zach Freeman, left-hander, misses a jump shot. Back out to 22, Doxus. It's a three-pointer and the Titans quickly jump out to a three-zip lead. Carson's dribbles in the front court, fires to Bauman, over to Thomas in the right corner. Back out front to Carstens. Looks like a 2-3 zone from the Titans here. Bauman penetrates it, tries to get it back to Carstens. The Vikings lose it out of bounds. Might be a little bit of early game jitters here for these seniors as they play their last game at the Carver PE Center. Titans bring it into the front court over to Milianovic. Back to Freeman over to Lehan. Lehan hits the back door cut to Milianovic. And the Titans are up 5 0. Minute and a half into the contest. Vikings are having a tough time right now with this 2 3 zone. Over to Bauman. Clements on the baseline. Back out to Bauman on the left side. Cross court pass to Thomas. Three is good by Thomas. From deep on the right side. 5 3, Titans. Two minutes into the game. Corey Jones over to Lehan. Wow, Lehan was tying his shoe. Milianovic threw a pass to him. Almost hit Gray Giovanni right in the face. Turnover, Vikings balls. They head down to look for a tie in this contest. Thomas brings it up over to Carson. Carson's back to Thomas at the top. Into Clements in the middle, turn around jumper. In and out, Novak battles for the rebound. Can't corral it. Bauman dives out of bounds, attempting to save, and it's off of him to the Titans. Great effort there by both Novak and Bauman. Couldn't come up with it though, but I think they're setting the tone for a high energy contest here tonight. Dawkins dribbles out front for the Titans. Thomas is on him. Inside pass to Freeman. I think we had a walk here, folks. We did. Good interior defense from Clements. And the Vikings bring it back up court. Thomas at the top of the key. Fakes a shot. Over to Carson's on the right side. Dribbles into the gap. Back to Bauman at the top. Tries to force one into Clements. We have a tie up between Novak and a couple of the Titan players and it'll go over to the Titans on the alternate possession. Jay McAdams sort number 24. Checks into the game for Bauman. Jay's a 6'3 sophomore out of Moline. Vikings employing the press. Titans break it. Milianovic for a three, good, from the right wing. 8-3, Titans. Three minutes into the game. Clements inside, McAdams from the right wing, three, no good, rattles off the rim. Rebound to Freeman from the, for the Titans. Pass up court to Corey Jones. Real nice move under the basket. Vikings are going to get a quick timeout. Titans lead 10 to 3 with 16 and a half to go. Okay, the Vikings triggering it in is Novak. Thomas brings it in the front court over to Carstens. Tries to get it back to Thomas. Stolen by Leanne. Leanne's fouled on the way in by Thomas. A hard foul. By Jim Thomas, he wasn't going to let Lee Hand get that layup. He's going to make him earn it from the free throw line. No harm intended there. I think it looked a little worse than it actually was, but it was a good hard foul to prevent an easy layup from the Titans. Lee Ann's first shot is good. 11 to 3. Titans lead 16 20 to go in the first half. It was a pretty careless turnover right there. Carson's just kind of. Floated a pass back to uh, Thomas, and it was picked off by Lee and drove all the way down the lane. 12-3, Titans lead. Thomas brings it into the front court. Karsten's on the left wing, back out front to Thomas. McAdams, Thornton over on the right wing. 
Back out front to Karstens. <clears throat> Back to Thomas on the left wing. Tries to force a pass into Novak. He was being held by number 30, Zach Freeman. Be the Vikings ball on the baseline. They're having a tough time penetrating this 2-3 zone of the Titans. They're trying to work it inside, not having much success. Out front to McAdam Thornton, who passes over to Carson's back to McAdam Thornton. He penetrates top of the key. Pass into Novak. Kind of an out of, out of control shot that he threw up there, and the Titans come down with the rebound. Looked like a walk there by Freeman. He takes it in. Looks like a charge. He bowls over Brad Novak. Looked to me like he traveled from the start. It wasn't called. Continued on down the left side of the lane and bowled over Novak. Novak's going to go out right now. And Travis Hoyt replaces him in the Viking lineup. And for the Titans, number 40, Steve Schwer, 6'6", sophomore out of St. Charles, replaces Zach Freeman. Freeman picked up his second foul. Just four minutes into the game here. Travis Hoyt, number 44, is the 6'6", uh, six, six junior out of Moline. Inside to Clemens, shots blocked by Emilianovich. Schwer down with the rebound, passes it ahead to Leanne. Leanne back out front to Doxus. Over to Schwer, Schwer to Leanne. <clears throat> out front, Leanne crossover. Looked like a walk there. Hoyt, good defense on Schwer. Vikings get the rebound. Thomas, a bullet pass into Carson. Back to Hoyt. Hoyt loses the ball as he goes down the lane, fights, gets it back, jump ball, Vikings possession. Illinois Wesleyan fans were pretty upset. They thought that Hoyt had traveled when he made his initial move down the lane. So he heard some groans from them, but he uh, lost the ball, got it back when he, when he tied up the uh, two Titan players. Thomas over in the right wing to McAdam Sorton. McAdam Sorton. Brings it back out front to Thomas. Thomas to Karstens, left wing. Three-pointer, no good. McAdam Thornton battling for the rebound. Got a tip, no good. Titans come down with it. Leanne brings it into the front court. Over to Doxus. Three-pointer, short. Yerke goes high for the rebound. Pulls it down between about three Titan players. Thomas ahead to McAdam Thornton. Charge as he drives down the left lane. Second team foul on the Vikings. First on McAdam Sorton. Number 23, Jordan Watson, 6'3", junior out of Galesburg, replaces Jim Thomas in the Viking lineup. Vikings working the full court press. Titans break that. They're into the front court now. Watson out front on Doxus. Leehan on the right wing. McAdam Sorton guards him. Out front to Emilianovich. Gierke's all over him. Long three by Emilianovich. Knocks it down. The Titans have jumped out to a 15-3 lead with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Karsten's inside to Gierke. Blocked. Blocked again. Two blocks in a row by Corey Jones. The Titans are on fire here, fans. 15 to three lead, and they're playing very solid defense. Augie can't get a thing going. Leehan out in the right wing, dribbles around, Carson's on him. Out front to Schwer, Gierke's all over Schwer. Dawkins on the right wing, into Corey Jones, Hoyt guards him, good defense. Dawkins, right wing, penetrates, kicks it to Jones, out front to Schwer, another three! 18 to three lead for the Titans as they've knocked down four three-pointers here in the early going. Watson in the gear key. Jump hook, no good. Titans pulled out another rebound. Emilianovich up front for Leehan. Leehan to Jones, over to Doxus. Emilianovich out front. Doxus down low to Jones. Pivots. Plate pulls down the rebound. McAdam Thornton dribbles into the front court over to Watson, a three, short. Milianovic with the rebound. Up to Leehan, drives down the left side of the lane, 
He's fouled on the way in by Jordan Watson. Eighteen to three with twelve thirty-seven to go in the first half. Illinois Wesleyan leads, and the Vikings call their second timeout. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, Illinois Wesley and a trigger from underneath their own basket. They jumped out to an 18 to three lead here with 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half. They have just come out on fire. Emilianovic, a long three from the top of the key. No good, Vikings rebound. Thomas into the front court. Number 25, Rick Harrigan's into the game. Bauman's back into the contest. Hoyt and Clements. Thomas over in the left wing. Sean Clements on the right side, down the lane, spins. Another block shot for Corey Jones. Third block shot for him tonight. Titans into the game for them is number 20, Jason Fisher. He's on the right wing, out to Corey Jones at the top. Swear. Got a foul called in the uh, Titans, number 42, Thomas. Gets called for a push in the lane. I'm sorry, Corey Jones, that was on. Corey's gonna be replaced by what I think is his brother, Chris Jones. Also a 6'5 sophomore out of Calumet City, Thornwood High School. Harrigan over to Thomas in the left corner, back out front to Bauman. Bauman dribbles to the right, dishes off to Harrigan. Harrigan to Hoyt at the right elbow. Thomas, left wing. No good on a three. Tipped out of bounds by Emilianovic and the Vikings a trigger from under their own basket. They really need to get some offense going here. They can't seem to penetrate the 2-3 zone. When they do, the shots get blocked. Hoyt drives inside. Down the right side, call for a charge. That call could have went either way. It was a good, strong move by Hoyt, but the Titans must have been set, drew the charge, and will head the other way with it. Looks like Jones is having, having problems with his contact. Chris Jones, a 6'5 sophomore who just came in the game for his brother, Corey. Heads over to the trainer and gets a little solution on the contact, tries to get it back in his eye. Looks now like they're gonna uh, put brother Corey back in and we'll get going here. Vikings in point of full court press. Titans working in. Back over to Jones as he comes up the right side. Bauman tips it out of bounds. Titans will trigger from the side court. Eighteen to three, eleven twelve to go. First half, Illinois Wesleyan leads. They're working around the left side. Schwer dribbles back out to the top of the key. Over to Dalksis, who's guarded by Clemens. Drives the lane. Jones from the right wing. Little 12 foot jumper. Knocks it down and it's 20 to three, Illinois Westland. Thomas to the top of the key. Over to Harrigan on the left side. Back to Thomas. Bauman on the right side. Tries to get it into Hoyt. And he's fouled from behind as uh, Jones reaches in. That's gonna be the second foul on Corey Jones. Looks like his brother Chris has the contact fixed and he'll check in for him. Also, Lee hands back in the game. His Dowsis checks out. Jim Thomas, the trigger from the baseline under the Augie basket. We're gonna break somebody open, having trouble even getting that. Karsten's out front. Over to Harrigan on the right wing. Thomas back to Carstens. Thomas top of the key back to Carstens left wing into Hoyt. Hoyt kicks it to Harrigan. Harrigan three pointer no good off the back iron. Titans all over the rebound. 
They push it up court on the left side, Lehan. Into Chris Jones, turn around jumper inside the lane, he's followed by the Vikings, number 40, Sean Clements. Be Sean's first foul, fifth team foul on the Vikings. Wow, we're sitting here with 10-18 to go in the first half. The Vikings only have three points on the scoreboard. Find themselves down 21 to three. Illinois Wesley's employing some great, great defense. Two, three zone, the Vikings just can't do anything with it. And on the offense, they're very productive there. 22 to three, as we get close to 10 minutes, halfway point in the first half. I've really never seen anybody defend the Vikings like this. Hold them down for this long of a period of time. Harrigan over to Thomas. Thomas to Harrigan, Karsten's on the right wing. He can't get anything going. Into Hoyt, back to Thomas. He penetrates, dishes to Harrigan. Three-pointer from the left baseline. No good. Titans all over the rebound once again. Lehan down the lane, blocked by Harrigan. Back out front to number 20. Jason Fisher knocks down a three. 25 to three with nine and a half to go, first half. Karsten's out front to Thomas, over to Harrigan. Harrigan looks into Hoyt, can't get it in. Nothing there, Karstens forces a drive down the lane, forces a shot, looking for a foul, can't get it. Titans pull down the rebound. Schwer. Drives the lane, called for a travel. Baum and Novak, Gierke check back in. Harrigan, Hoyt, Clemens check out. Coach Giovanni searching for that combination that's gonna click. Vikings find themselves down 25 to three with 9.13 to go in the first half. Unbelievable what we're seeing here. This two, three zone is just very active. The Vikings can't get anything going. They can't penetrate, they can't hit threes. Just having a tough time getting anything going. Gierke back to Karsten's left wing, three, no good. Gierke over the back. He'll get called for the offensive foul. Climbing the back of the Titans in search of a rebound. Titans, Lehan. Back to Dalksis. Brings it across half court with Thomas starting. Fisher guarded by Bauman into the corner to Dalksis. Thomas all over him. Kicks it out front to Chris Jones. Over to Lehan. Lehan. Back to Dowsis. Out front. Shot clock winds down. We're down to five. Fisher. Long two. No good. Tipped in by Jones. 27 to three. We get close to eight minutes to go here in the first half. Unbelievable. 12 minutes into this first half, the Vikings have but three points. Bauman on the right wing, drives. Blocking foul called to number 20 Fisher for the Titans. That'll be the fifth team foul on the Illinois Wesleyan. Vikings will trigger from, their own, from under their own basket. Thomas calls out a play, kicks it into Karstens. Carson on the right wing, out to Bauman. On the left wing to uh, Thomas. Into Gierke, back out to Thomas. Long three, no good. Novak goes high for a rebound. We got a foul called on number 20 Fisher for the Titans as he tried to dig it out from Novak. Jordan Watson checks in for the Vikings, replacing Thomas. Foul, number six. Under eight minutes to go in the first half, 27 to three. Vikings trail. Titans into the game, number 30. Zach Freeman, number 32, Keelan. Emilianovich as Schwer and Fisher check out. This game has just been totally dominated by the Titans. Tough defense, force a five second call. Watson couldn't get it inbounds. Ray Giovanni is third timeout here in the first half. 
7.53 to go, 27 to three, Illinois Westland. Here we go again. Illinois Wesleyan is going to trigger from under the Vikings basket with a 27 to three lead. 7.53 to go in the first half. Leanne brings it up court. Watson all over him. Kicks it over to Milianovic. Back to Leanne. Leanne dribbles to the right side to Dalksis. Dalksis guarded by Karstens. Drives down the right side. Forces a shot up. Followed by Karstens on the way in. He'll shoot two. Good, strong move by Dalksis down the right side. Forced the contact from Karstens. First one on, on Drew. Seventh team foul for the Vikings. First shot's no good. Sean Clements checks back in for the Vikings, replacing Bill Gerke. 7.35 to go, first half. 28 to three as Dalksis rattles in the second free throw. Carson's ahead to Clements. Shot up, blocked again by the Titans. Leanne pushes it up court. Dalksis right wing into Jones. Jones tries to move on uh, Clements, steps out of bounds. Novak brings it into Watson. Watson heads up court to Bauman on the left wing. Bauman back out front to Carstens. Carstens inside to Clements. They're going in there again. Sean. This time he gets one to go and he's fouled. Fouls on number 30. Zach Freeman. First foul on Zach. He's replaced by number 40, Steve Schwer. That's the seventh team foul on the Titans. Clements will shoot one to try and complete the three-point play. Sean misses the second one long off the back iron. 28 to five, 704 to go. First half, Titans in the front court. Docks us over to Lehan. Lehan's guarded by Karstens. Moves around him to the right. Drives the right side, picks up his dribble. Kicks it back out front to Dogsis, guarded by Watson out front. Trying to move on Watson. Watson, good defense, over to Jones. Hits the back side of the backboard. It'll go to the Vikings. Chris Jones claims he was fouled on that play. Coach doesn't want to hear it. He replaces him with his brother, Corey Jones. Vikings bring it up. Bauman inside to Car uh, Clements. Clements kicks it out to Watson. Back to Sean. Over to Drew Karstens. Drives the lane. Kicks it over to Watson. Three from the left wing. Good. Okay, the Titans call a quick 30 second timeout. Coach wasn't happy with that three pointer by the Vikings. Illinois Wesleyan pushes it up against the Augie Press, and they're into the front court now. Leehan on the right side, guarded by Karstens. Kicks it out front to Corey Jones. Forces one inside to Milianovic. Tough jumper in the lane, good. 38, 5.50 to go. First half, Vikings bring it down. Thomas to Clements, back to Karstens. Three-pointer, no good. Titans rebound, Lehan, Doxus going in for the layup. Drives in on the left side, strong drive to the basket, followed by Drew Carsons. It'll be the second on Drew, eighth on the Vikings. Doxus go to the line to shoot two. Drew was not gonna let him go in and have that unmolested layup, so he gave him a good hard foul. And it pays off as Doxus misses the first. Harrigan in for the Vikings, replacing Karstens, who did pick up his second. And I don't think Drew's even scored yet tonight. That's pretty unusual here on senior night. Doxus hits the second. 31 to eight lead, Illinois Westland. Thomas over to McAdams Thornton on the right wing. Two Titans all over him. 
What defense these guys are playing. Forces a pass over to Thomas, drives in for the layup. Good job by McAdams there. He, he uh, threw a cross-court pass to Thomas who had an open drive uh, down the left side of the lane. He took advantage of that and scored. Titans working out front to Leanne. Long three, good. 34 to 10. Every time the Vikings get a little something going, the Titans come right back and answer. They'd cut the lead to 20, but now it's back up to 24. Harrigan. Over to McAdam Thornton. McAdam Thornton on the right wing, back out front to Thomas. Harrigan drives the gap to Thomas, to McAdam Thornton. Draws the contact, forces a shot. No good, Clements with the rebound. Puts the shot back up and in off the glass. 34-12 Vikings, Leanne down the right side. It's called for a reach on Leanne as he tried to steal the ball near the Viking bench. Clayton Gerke checked back into the lineup for the Vikings. Clements and Novak check out. Coach Giovanni's tried every possible combination tonight. Nothing seems to work. Leehan, first shot up. No good, gets his own rebound. No box out from the Vikings. Nobody picked up the shooter. Milianovic, jumper rattles in and out. Tipped up and in by number 34, Chris Jones. Two times there, the Vikings got caught without a box out. First on the free throw attempt, second on the, on the uh, shot attempt. Illinois Wesleyan eventually tipped it back in. Dalksis gets called for the reach on Thomas. Thomas will go to the line to shoot the one and one. First shot's up. Woo. In, out, and back in, off the board. Jim Thomas rattles the first one in. He'll shoot the second. 36-13, Illinois Wesleyan lead. 4-11 to go in the first half. Thomas eyes the second one, puts it up, and nothing but net that time. 36-14, Vikings employ some, I'll call it a little token full court pressure. They're making Illinois Wesleyan work hard to get the ball across, but they're not trapping or anything. Leanne out front, over to Chris Jones. Excuse me. Jones on the right wing, back out front to Dalksis. Jones into his brother, Corey Jones. Off the glass, no good. Point rebounds. Thomas to Harrigan. Harrigan drives the gap to Hoyt. Back to McAdam Thornton. Back out front to Thomas. Long three. Short off the front rim. Hoyt strong with the rebound. Puts it back up and in off the glass. Gets fouled to go to the line. Travis Hoy with a good, strong offensive rebound. Takes it right back up. Draws the foul on number 42, Corey Jones. That's the third foul on Jones, and he's got to go out of the game. That's what the Vikings have been lacking right there. That was a good, strong offensive rebound from Hoyt off the long three from Thomas. Went right back up strong, drew the foul. Now he's going to the line to finish off the three-point play. Free throw short, though. Rebounded by Chris Jones. 36-16, the Vikings have pulled back to within 20 with 3-10 to go here in the first half. Box is guarded by Thomas. And over to Jones, guarded by Gerke. To Emelianovic from the left wing hits the three, and here we go again. Vikings pull within 20. Wesleyan hits the three, and it's back up to a 23-point lead at 39-16. Carson throws it away again, over and back call. Bauman and Watson back into the game. McAdams and Thomas check out. 2.45 to go, first half. Illinois Wesleyan in front, 39 to 16. Dalksis brings it into the front court. Schwer on the left wing, guarded closely by Hoyt. 
Drops off a little bit now. Jones. Emilianovic, Gierke picks him up. Tipped away by Gierke. Good steal by Bill Gierke. Hoyt over to Watson on the right wing. Bauman. Watson, they're trying to work it into Hoyt. Hoyt gets it in the middle. Back out to Watson for a three. Short off the front iron. Titans on the rebound. Fisher and Emilianovic. Stolen away by Bauman. To Watson, driving layup, no good. Titans with the rebound. Dauxis running it right up the gut. Call, blocking call on Hoyt. Dauxis took it right to the hole, right, drove right past three Vikings who had their backs turned. Hoyt was the last defender back. He picks up the block, it's his second foul. 10th team foul on the Vikings. Just an unbelievable first half here, fans. Uh, Illinois Wesleyan Titans playing outstanding defense. Great rebounding. Terrific three-point shooting. They're just totally dominating this game at 40 to 16 with 153 to go. Sean Clemens checks back in for Bill Gerke. Docks a second shot. No good. Looks like an over-the-back call. Uh, Illinois Wesleyan, 34. Jones picks up his, I believe that's his second. No, it's his first. Chris Jones with his first, 10th team foul on the Titans. Sean Clements will go to the line to shoot two. First one's up, good. 40 to 17. Harrigan gets ready to check in for the Vikings. Clements eyes the second, puts it up and good. Harrigan checks in for Karstens. Thomas checks in for Watson. Hoyt, Thomas, Harrigan, Bauman, Clements on the court for the Vikings right now. Dauxis, Chris Jones, Emilianovich, Lehan, Schwer on the court for the Titans. Lehan on the right wing. Into Jones. Little give and go, beautiful give and go to Lehan. Cuts down the left side of the lane for the layup. 42-18 Illinois Wesleyan. Harrigan on the left wing, back out front to Thomas. Back to Harrigan, trying to get it inside to Clements. Can't do it, back out front to Bauman. Drives the lane, gets caught up in the air. Called for the offensive charge. He left his feet, had nowhere to go. Great position by the Titans, offensive foul. First one on Bauman. 1.15 to go, first half, 42-18, Illinois Wesleyan leads. Just totally dominating this first half. Milianovic out front to Doxis, over to Leanne in the right corner. Lehan drives toward the lane to Dogsis. Schwer, three-pointer. Good, good again. 45-18. Illinois Wesleyan just taking the Vikings apart. Thomas drives the lane, throws up a little floater. It goes. 45-20, 30 seconds to go, first half. Dogsis. There's about a one second or less difference here on the shot clock. I expect Illinois Wesleyan to work the clock. Milianovic, Lehan out front, along with Dauxis. Down to uh, 16 on the shot clock. There's about one more second on the big clock. Jones down the left baseline, right baseline to Dauxis out front, long three, no good. Play pulls down the rebound. As the half comes to an end, 45 to 20, Illinois Wesleyan leads, and the Vikings have been totally dominated here in the first half.
Welcome back here to the Carver P. Center in Augustana campus for the second half of tonight's Illinois Wesleyan versus Augustana men's basketball game. Halftime score finds the visiting Illinois Wesleyan Titans ahead 45 to 20. Looking at some of the first half statistics here. Emilianovich is leading the uh, Titans in scoring with 13 points. Jim Thomas leads the Vikings with nine. Illinois Wesley in the first half shot 15 for 26 from the field for 57.7%. A red hot eight for 11 from three point range for 72.7%. Seven for 11 on free throws for 63.6%. The Vikings were 7 of 31 for 22.6% from the field, 2 of 13 from three point range for 15.4%, 4 out of 6 on free throws for 66.7%. Rebounding wise, 25 for Illinois Wesleyan, 5 offensive, 20 defensive. For the Vikings, 14, 6 offensive, 8 defensive. Second half's underway here. Titans in the front court. Doxus dribbles hard across the lane, goes to his left hand, lays it in. 47-20, Illinois Westland. Doxus comes up with a steal, takes it down on Carstens, drives in, gets called for the charge this time. Drew Carstens set up nicely, drew the charges. Doxus came down the left side of the lane. Thomas up court for the Vikings. <coughs> Illinois Wesleyan sitting back. Looks like a little different zone this time maybe. Now they fall back into the 2-3. Thomas looks at the three. Takes a dribble to the right, puts it up and hits it. 47-23, 19-11 to go. Dowksis into the front court. Over to uh, Freeman. Freeman to Emilianovic. Tries to get it inside to Corey Jones. He's fouled by Brad Novak. Foul was on Brad Novak. His first team foul, number one. First foul, Novak. Emilianovich triggers under the Titans basket. Over to Corey Jones in the left wing. Back out front to Freeman. Back to Emilianovic. Freeman out front. Lehan penetrates on the right side, loses it. Thomas picks up the loose ball. Pushes it up court, falls down. Gets attacked by two Titans, loses it. Milianovic brings it up for the Titans. To Jones on the left baseline. Into the lane on Clements, misses the layup. Vikings can't control the rebound. The Titans were all over the glass. Couldn't knock it in. Vikings standing flat-footed, watching. Couldn't corral the rebound. Went out of bounds. Vikings get the ball. Thomas, a long three. No good. Emilianovic, rebound. Clements battles him for it. A loose ball. Kicks it out to Leehan. Leehan to Freeman. Blocking foul. Basket good. Thomas. Tried to set up for the charge, gets called for the block. Freeman puts it in and will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. 18.05 to go in the game, 49-23 Titans lead. Freeman left-hander eyes it, short off the front iron. Bauman with the rebound, brings it up court. To Thomas in the middle. Over to Bauman. Bauman inside to Clements. <coughs> Thomas with the rebound to Carstens. Into Clements. Clements, good move. Can't get the bucket to fall. Bauman with this rebound. Couple offensive rebounds there for the Vikes. Thomas from the left wing. Three, no good. Bauman taps it out. Lee and brings it down. He's followed by Thomas.
Very, very aggressive offense from Illinois Wesleyan. Lehan will go to the line to shoot two. Third team foul already on the Vikings this half. Leanne, first one's up and good. The Vikings into the game. Gierke, Hoyt, McAdams, Thornton, Watson, Carson's the only one now, only one of the uh, second half starters that remains. As Coach Giovanni is still searching for the combination that will work. Leanne misses the second. Gierke with the rebound. Kicks it to Watson. Dribbles down the right side to McAdams, Thornton. Takes it in. Back out to Watson. Watson works it into Hoyt. Hoyt double teamed on the inside to the middle. Kicks it to Karstens. Three pointer, no good. McAdam Sorton bites the rebound. Emilianovich over his back. Good position that time. Good box out by Jay McAdam Sorton. Emilianovich had to go over his back, got called for it, and the Vikings will bring it in bounds from under their own basket. Watson into Gierke, Gierke back out to Carstens, drives to Gierke, shovels it to Hoyt, with a left hand baby hook, good for Travis Hoyt. Good strong move to the basket by the Vikings there, Hoyt puts it in. Jones down court for the Titans, with the layup, much too easy. Watson to Gierke. Gierke to McAdam Sorton. Dribbles on the left wing to Watson out front into Hoyt. Hoyt, same move as last time, goes with the left. A little half hook, good again for Hoyt. A couple of nice moves in a row there for Travis Hoyt, and he has six points on the night. He's come in here and done a nice job. Titans, Freeman works on the baseline, loses out of bounds. Vikings will bring him back. 52-27, 16-15 to go in the game. Schwer comes back into the game for Illinois Wesleyan. Freeman goes to the bench. Watson brings it up for the Vikings. Over to Carstens on the right wing. Jay McAdams sorting out front. Watson eyes a three-pointer. Knocks it down from the left wing. 52-30. Closest the Vikings have been in a while, they're within 22. Sounds like a lot, but gotta start somewhere. Good defense by Karstens. Forces a turnover from Leanne. Combination of good defense and a poor pass there, forces a turnover. Vikings bring it back up, and they'll try to cut it even further. <coughs> Karstens on the right wing to Hoyt, back to Karstens. To the baseline, jumper, no good. Hoyt with the offensive rebound. Inside, fouled by Illinois Wesleyan. Hoyt's made a couple of strong offensive rebounds and a couple strong moves to the basket inside. Seems to be getting the Vikings going a little bit. Drew Carson's, however, still can't get going, but Illinois Wesleyan's gonna call a timeout. With 15.33 to go in the second half, 52.30 Illinois Wesleyan lead. I guess they're just going to take a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here, Jess. I'd like to add here, i uh, like to thank uh, Jess Medina and Family Ties Productions for bringing you this Augustana game. And uh, anybody out there that would like to do any advertising, please contact Jess Medina. Be glad to uh, get your advertisement on with this production. And uh, at the end of the telecast, the... the Number to call will, will appear on the screen. So please help uh, Family Ties Productions out so we can keep bringing in these games and with a little advertising. Travis Hoyt from the line, first one up, good. 52-31, 15-33 to go. Travis Hoyt will get a second shot here. Trying to cut the lead to 20 points. We've been there before tonight. Travis second shot, good. Eight points on the night for Travis Hoyt. Vikings, full court pressure. Jones breaks it to Emilianovich. To Schwer on the baseline, loses it out of bounds. Illinois Wesley, a little upset on the call. They thought 
Schwill is fouled, no foul called, Vikings trigger. Karsten's on the left wing to McAdams sort now front. Jay drives the lane, Gierke. Three seconds in the lane, called on the Vikes. Gierke got caught in the lane. Picked up his dribble, had nowhere to go with it. Got called for the three seconds. Clements checks in for Gierke. Illinois Wesleyan into the front court. Lehan to the basket. Knocked away by Hoyt. Out of bounds to the Titans. Bauman checks in for McAdam Sorton. Just under 15 minutes to go in the game. 52-32, Illinois Wesleyan on top. Jones out front to Dalksis. Tomilianovic back to Dalksis. Jones at the top of the key over to Lehan. Lehan guarded closely by Bauman. Tomilianovic on the wing, guarded closely by Hoyt. Hoyt forces the shot. Gets a hand on it, Emilianovic couldn't get the shot off, dropped the ball, picked it up again, we got a travel call. Great defense from Travis Hoyt. He'll trigger it in for the Vikings and the spark plug of the night, Travis Hoyt. Finally has got the Vikings going here. They can cut the lead to under 20. Thomas to Harrigan. Harrigan's checked into the game. Clements inside. No good on a little uh, baby hook. Illinois Wesleyan controls the rebound. Just couldn't knock it under 20. He had two opportunities, couldn't do it. Jones inside for the Titans, knocks it down. It's back up to a 22 point lead. Thomas to Bauman, Bauman back to Thomas. Left side, looks for Clements, not there. Bauman over to Harrigan on the right side. Harrigan gets it into Hoyt. Hoyt, another strong move. Couldn't get anything. Dropped it back to Bauman. Kicked out of bounds. Brad Novak checks in for Travis Hoyt. Vikings bring it in from the side court. Bauman into Thomas. Thomas to Harrigan. Harrigan to the top of the key. Back to Novak. Thomas left wing. Brings it back to Harrigan. Harrigan eyes it. Takes it to the, to the lane. Gets fouled by Lehan, called for the grab. Foul is on Tim Lehan, his second team foul. Second foul on Lehan, fourth team foul on Illinois Wesley in this half. Clements, Harrigan from the corner, good! Three pointer, and finally the Vikings cut it at her 20. 54 35, 13 and a half to go. Showing a little life here. Emilianovic, turnaround jumper, no good. Novak skies for the rebound and he's. He's fouled by Steve Schwer, his first foul over the back foul. Good position by Brad Novak. Vikings got a little, little rally going here. They've cut it to 19, look to dig into it further. Clements, double team. Knocked out of bounds by Jones. The Vikings will bring it in bounds from the right corner on their baseline. Thomas to Clements. Back to Thomas to Harrigan. Bauman on the right side. Thomas eyes the three, no good. Novak, good rebound, puts it back up. Couldn't get it to drop. Clements, rebound. No good, but he's fouled. Sean Clements, strong rebound. Takes it back up strong. Fouled by Leehan. He's gonna shoot two. Third foul on Leehan, 16 foul on Illinois Wesleyan. Just under 13 minutes to go. Vikings can cut a little further into this 19 point Titan lead. First one for Clements is good. Bounds off the iron. Straight up in the air and drops straight back down through the hoop.
54-36, 12.56 to go. Clements high is the second. Knocks it down, 54-37. Drew Carson checks back in for Bauman. Here we are, 13 minutes to go in the game. Drew Carson is yet to score. And this is final game at the Carver PE Center. Dawkins gets into the front court. Illinois Wesleyan seems to want to slow it down a little bit now. Vikings have put together a little rally. Jones, fouled from behind by Novak. Good drive to the basket by Jones. Strong along the left side. Drew the foul from Brad Novak, who had no help back for him. <laughs> Excuse me. Jones, first free throws up and good. 55, 37, 12 and a half to go. Jones, second one up and good. 56, 37, back to a 19 point lead for Illinois Wesleyan. Thomas out front. To Carstens on the left wing. Carstens back out front to Harrigan. Harrigan to Thomas, right wing. Into Novak, Novak from the elbow, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Chris Jones. Zach Freeman checks back in for Illinois Wesleyan. Replaces Corey Jones. Thomas the trigger from the Vikings baseline under their basket. Looks to Karstens on the, on the left wing. Karstens drives to the elbow, kicks it to Harrigan. Harrigan, three pointer, good! Vikings have cut it to 16. They're showing some life. Here with 12 minutes to go in the game. They really need to pick up the defense. A lot of pressure, forced some turnovers. They finally found some offense. Now they need to get Get some turnovers. Force uh, Illinois Wesleyan into some bad shots. They seem to be uh, working the shot clock a little longer now, a little deeper in every possession. We're down to eight on the shot clock. Dulks us out front, drives the left lane, kicks it to Milianovic, left side, bang! Three-pointer good! Knocks the lead back up to 19. That was a tough possession there. The Vikings held them in check for 29 seconds. They knocked it down. Drew Karstens right back with a three for the Vikings, his first of the night. Leanne misses the... Whoa, Karstens! Attack from the back side, no foul call. Jones back for the Titans. And a foul called on Thomas. Hard to believe. It looked like Carson's was fouled as he is knocked down across the midcourt. Nothing called. Illinois Wesleyan pushed it back up court. And Jim Thomas gets called on a, on a charge, a late call, a uh, blocking foul. Late call looked like it could have been a charge. Should have been a no call. Titans will trigger from under their basket. 61-43 lead, 10.50 to go, 18 point. Three seconds called on 34, Chris Jones. Vikings bring it back into the front court. They're gonna try to cut this lead even further. Drew Carson's finally got off to Schneid. See if he can get something going. He drives to the lane. No good. Emilianovic tries to save it. Great pass. From Harrigan to Novak to Carson's. Went up for the layup. Foul. Foul is on Chris Jones. His second. Foul by number 34, Chris Jones. Carson's will shoot two from the line. First one's up, good. 61-44, 10 and a half to go. Oh, 
Second shot's up and good. 61-45, Vikings have cut it back to 16. Gierke checks in for Novak. Points into the game. Watson, Harrigan, Karstens. Travis Hoyt on the block. Zach Freeman gets the rebound from the block. Puts it back up. Good. Foul by Bill Gierke. Number six. Go to the line, shooting one, trying to complete the three-point play. It's up, no good. Harrigan gets the rebound. Little scrum under the basket between Gierke and Jones. Gierke gets called for the foul. Foul was on Bill Gierke. His third team foul, number seven. Seventh team foul, Illinois Wesleyan to go to the line to shoot the one and one. Wow, that was a strange call. It was, it, it was a hold called on Gierke on the opposite side of the lane of where the rebound came off to. It really had no effect on the play. Could have went either way. Just a strange call. Free throws missed by Jones. Clements pulls the rebound down. Watson brings it up to Karstens. Drew drives left side, puts it up. No good, he's fouled, go back to the line. 63-45, 10 minutes to go, 18-point lead. Drew Carson's will try to cut that down to 16 from the line. First one's up and good. Drew's starting to pick it up here. That's what the Vikings had to have if they were gonna have any chance at all of getting back into this game. He knocked down a three and then he started driving since then. He's picked up a couple of fouls and he looks to make his uh, fourth straight free throw. Seventh point on the night, it's good. We're gonna need some real hot shooting here from the Vikings. They've cut it to 16 here for the third time recently. Need to get some defensive stops. If they're gonna cut into this lead any further. There's one right there, turnover. Harrigan brings it up. Over to Watson. Good, 63-49. Vikings have cut it to 14. Just under 10 minutes to go. What they need to do here is keep, keep plugging away. Get this thing under 10 points within the last, say, six, seven minutes. Give themselves a chance. Foul out on the, out on the left wing by Harrigan. Or excuse me, Jordan Watson picks up his second foul. Eighth team foul on the Vikings. It looks like Dauxis will be going to the line for the Titans. One thing that the Titans hadn't been doing real well tonight is shooting free throws. Dauxis knocks that one down though. Knocks the lead back up to 15 points. 64, 49, 9.34 to go. Second one's up and also good. Back to a 16 point lead, Vikings bring it into the front court. Harrigan, quick three, no good. Hoyt goes for the rebound. Gets called for the foul. Schwer came down with the rebound, Hoyt tied him up. He gets called for the reach in foul. Should have been a jump ball in our opinion, but not in the opinion of the referees. Vikings call a 30-second timeout. 9.27 to go, 65-49. Illinois Wesleyan lead. Back out of the timeout, Illinois Wesleyan is going to go to the line. Schwer will be shooting a one and one. It's a ninth team foul on the Vikings. So after this, Illinois Wesleyan will shoot two. Schwer, first one's up, good. 66-49, 9.27 to go. Couple of possessions in a row there, the Vikings failed to score or failed to cut into the lead any further. 
Illinois Wesleyans come down and knock in free throws. Second one's no good by Schwer. Clements with the rebound ahead to Watson. Watson to Karsten's on the left wing. Gets it into Hoyt. Hoyt moves to the into the lane. Back out to Harrigan. Harrigan down front to Clements. Turn around on the baseline. Good. And he's fouled. 66-51. Down to 15 points. John Clements will go to the line and try to knock it down to 14. 9-12 left to go in the game. Sean Clements. Free throws up and good. 66-52. Vikings back to 14 down. Leehan ahead to Fisher. Fisher out front to Dalksis. Looks like the Titans want to run some clock. Dalksis pass stolen by Clements. Jay McAdams Thornton knocks her down, slam dunk. Vikings within 12 and they're fired up. Timeout over there, Wesleyan. 8.51 to go, 66-54. Here we go, fans. After the Illinois Wesleyan timeout, the Vikings have cut it to 12 here at 66-54, just under nine minutes to go. Travis Hoyt on Leehan out front. McAdams starting on Emilianovic. Fisher, left wing, Watson on him. Out front to Schwer, guarded by Karstens. Leehan, Hoyt's all over him. In the, in the Freeman, loses it out of bounds. Vikings will trigger from their baseline. 8.23 to go, down 12. The Vikings aren't giving up yet. Carson's on the right side to McAdams Sarton. McAdams over to Watson. Watson to Carson's. Carson's right side. Looks inside to Hoyt, not there. McAdams right wing. Back to Clements. Ball goes out of bounds. Illinois Wesleyan player dies for it. I can't see who it is. Looks like he's shaking up on the sideline. He hit the scorer's table and he's motionless. Trying to get a look at him down here right by the Augie bench. He uh, dove for the ball as it was going out of bounds. Hit the uh, front of the scorer's table. Some of the chairs there on the Augie bench. Looks like it might be Lee Han. I haven't got a number on him yet. Trainer's there checking his head. Looks like he is up now, sitting up. He's gonna get up. Yeah, it was Lee Han. Gets a good hand from the crowd here as he bumped his head. He's holding his, uh, just above his eye, right eye. Maybe he opened up a cut. He's gonna sit at the end of the bench. The trainer looks at him. Vikings will trigger from the side court. 8.02 to go, down 12. Harrigan into Watson. Watson back to Harrigan, to Watson. Carson's on the left wing. Point in the middle, turn around jumper. No good. Titans with the rebound. Dalks is out front. Fisher on the left wing. Harrigan's on him. Dalks is guarded by Watson. Dalks is to the baseline. Knocks the layup down. Karstens is late getting over. Called for the block. Big, big bucket by Dalks as he drove the left side. Got the foul. Go to, he'll go to the line to try to put the lead back up to 15. Jim Thomas comes back in for Watson, 7.36 to go. Doxis free throw, no good. Hoyt with the rebound, 68-54. Vikings failed to score last time down. They need to get a bucket here on this possession. Down 14, seven and a half to go. Harrigan, Thomas. 
Thomas Carstens cuts back to the left side into Clements. Clements, baseline move, good shot. 68-56, 7-10 to go. The Illinois Wesleyan doxes, slowly brings it up, guarded by Thomas out front. Moves to the left side. Looks inside to Schwer, not there. Kicks it back out front to Fisher. Fisher drives on Harrigan, nothing there. Kicks it back to Doxus. Thomas all over him. Freeman, left-handed runner in the lane. Little 12-foot jumper from Freeman, knocks it down. It's up, back up to 14. Vikings back up court in a hurry. Karsten's right wing. Looks to Harrigan, long three, no good. Dowsis pulls down the rebound, six and a half to go. 70 to 56, Illinois Wesleyan leads. Carstens gets called for a hole, and it gets a fourth on Drew. Psycho Milianovic will be going to the line. 6.15 to go, 70 to 56, Illinois Wesleyan leads. Milianovic, first one's up and good. Brad Novak checks in for Travis Hoyt. Second one from Emilianovich. Good. 72-56. Increase the lead back up to 16. Vikings really need a, a bucket here in the worst way. Karstens drives the lane. Tries to dish to Novak. Picked off by Emilianovich. And now the Vikings really need a stop. They cut it to 12, but it's been... Been increased back up to 16. Karsten's on a steal. Stolen back from him by Doxis over to Milianovic. Big turn of events right there, folks. Ray Giovanni calls the timeout. Vikings now down 74-56. Well, after the timeout, the Vikings trigger in. Thomas brings it up to Karstens. Karstens on the right wing. Kicks it back to Harrigan. Thomas, five and a half to go. Vikings down 18. Karstens over to Harrigan. Harrigan. Good defense here by the Titans. They're making the Vikings use the shot clock. Harrigan inside to Gierke. Back to Thomas. Three-pointer from the left wing, good. 74-59, 5.15 to go. The Vikings ended up getting the three-pointer, but they had to use about 20 seconds off the shot clock to get it. Titans, Emilianovic, no good. Gierke with the rebound. Thomas pushes it up. Kicks it to Harrigan, left wing. Thomas, long three, good! 74-62, Vikings got it back to 12, 4.47 to go. Thomas out front. Dowsis to Fisher. Fisher on the left wing, guarded by Harrigan. Inside, Freeman, followed by Gierke. Freeman's going to go to the line for two with 4.34 to go. Vikings down 12, 74-62. They've been here before to 12. Couldn't get it any lower. Freeman, first one's up and good. Vikings, four new players check in. Clements, McAdams, Hoyt, Watson. Carson's will remain in the game. 75-62, 4.34 to go. Freeman, second one's up. No good. Clements with the rebound. 13-point lead. Vikings can get as close as they've been in a long, long time. Karstens tries to force it into Clements. In there, picked off by Emilianovic. 
Here come the Titans, a careless turnover there. The Vikings really couldn't afford at that time. Just a little over four minutes to go. They're still down 13 points. Lehan out front. Over to Dauxis. Dauxis guarded closely by Watson. Back to the top of the key, 14 on the shot clock. Milianovic, Freeman, Dauxis. Goes to the left baseline again, kicks it back to Jones. Looked like he traveled, no call. Short on the jumper. Point tied up on the rebound by Freeman. Called a jump ball. We're heading the other way. Down on the other end, that was a foul earlier. Wasn't called that way this time. Harrigan back in the game, Watson out. Thomas, Hoyt, Karstens, Clements, Harrigan. Harrigan to Thomas. Three-pointer from the corner, no good. Clements with the rebound. Back to Karstens, three from the right wing, no good. Hoyt, call for the foul and the rebound. Tough call down at the other end. They didn't call that. This end, they do call it. Vikings had a couple cracks. They had a couple good, good threes. Couldn't knock them down. Still find themselves down 13. Freeman to the line. First one's good. 76-62, 3.32 to go. Freeman's second one's good. 77-62, the Vikings back down to 15. Thomas, Karsten's right wing. Drives, nothing there. Pushes it back to Harrigan. Harrigan to Karsten's. Karsten's drives, goes for the dunk, no good. Missed the dunk. Titans, should have been a travel called. No travel call. Emilianovic tried to tried to save it in bounds. It was tipped by a Vikings player off the back of the backboard. It belonged to Illinois Wesleyan under the bat under their own basket. <laughs> Looked like Jones travel coming down the right side. Nothing called. Triggered in by the Titans. The player is passing to turn. Didn't see the ball coming. Vikings intercepted. Pass tipped away by Freeman. Vikings ball on their own baseline. Harrigan will trigger in. To Clements, right wing. Harrigan comes back out. Karstens, left wing, three, no good. Hoyt on the tip, no good. Titans control, 2.43 to go, 77-62 lead. Doxus to Milianovic. Freeman, top of the key. Karstens intercepts, drives to the basket. Under control, that's... Lehan go by him. He's able to make the layup. 77-64. 2.22 to go. We got a full timeout called by Illinois Wesleyan. Back from the timeout here, Illinois Wesleyan will bring it in. 2.22 to go in the game. 77-64, Illinois Wesleyan leads. This is Jay Crone with Family Ties Productions bringing you the Augustana Illinois Wesleyan men's basketball game. As these two teams battle for first place, Jordan Watson on the far front. 2.07 to go, Vikings down 13. Third foul by Watson. The Vikings are over the 10. 10 foul mark, and uh, it's a double bonus for Illinois Wesleyan. First one by Dalksus is up and good. In for the Vikings, we have Karstens, Thomas, Harrigan. Replacing Bauman, McAdams, Thornton, and Watson. 
Hoyden Clements also in the game. Second free throw, no good. Clements on the rebound. Vikings need some threes in a hurry here. Two minutes to go. Harrigan, left wing, can't get nothing. Back out front to Thomas. Right wing, tries to get it into Clements. Dawkins kicks it, and the Vikings will bring it in from their baseline. Fresh 35 on the shot clock. Vikings can't use that much time, though, anyway. Hoyt to Harrigan. Top of the key, long three, no good. Clemens tries to rebound. Dawkins brings it down. Here come the Titans. Jones, followed by Karstens. That'll be Drew's fifth. His final game here at Carver PE Center. Get a large ovation from the fans, the Illinois Wesleyan fans with a little bit of a mock cheer, some waves goodbye to Drew. An outstanding career for the Vikings. The whole portion of it comes to an end. Adam Dawkins comes down and gives a handshake and a hug to Drew Carstens. Those two have battled each other over the years here in the CCIW. And that was a nice gesture on his part. First free throws up and no good by Jones. 78-64, 144 to go. Illinois Wesleyan leads, second free throw up and good by Jones. 79-64, 15 point lead, 140 to go. Thomas down court, drives the lane, kicks it to Watson, right wing, three pointer, no good. Emilianovich on the rebound, Titans control. Dawks is followed by Hoyt. 130 to go in the game. Well, fans, the Vikings they made a couple of good runs here in the second half. Cut it, I think as close as 12 was, um, was as close as they got and couldn't quite get over that hump. Just got too far behind. Dawks' free throw is good. 80 to 64. Find yourself down 25, 26 points. It's pretty tough to come back. The Vikings have made a gallon effort tonight. Dalxis makes the second one also to knock it down to 17 points. Thomas with a three. No good. Clements up for the rebound. Battling Lehan. Lehan knocks it out, and the Vikings will trigger from their baseline. Jim Thomas brings it in. To Watson, easy layup. Nice out of bounds play there for the Vikings, but a little bit, a little too late, it looks like, as uh, brings the Vikings within 15 with a minute to go. A little over a minute to go. Freeman, harassed by Hoyt. No call. Back out front to Dawkins. Drives the lane. Slapped by Thomas. Then knocked down. Thomas on the foul. That'll be Jim Thomas's fifth. And another one of our fine seniors will be checking out of the game for the last time here at the Carver P Center. Gets a good round of applause from the fans. And I'm sure him and Drew Carsons are both very disappointed here tonight, but. They've given these Viking fans a lot of thrills over the last four years. First shots up and good by Doxus. 82-66. One minute to go. Second one up. Also good. It's a 17-point lead. Illinois Wesley calls a timeout. One minute to go, a 17-point lead. Welcome back here to the Carver PE Center. Minute to go in the contest. 83-66, Illinois Wesleyan leads. Be the Vikings ball out of bounds. And with only a minute to go and a 17 point deficit to overcome, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen tonight. Vikings will, for all practical purposes, be eliminated from the CCIW race.
Clements followed inside. He's going to go to the line. With this loss, the Vikings are going to drop to nine and four in the conference. Illinois Wesleyan is going to improve to ten and two. That only the Vikings two full games behind. I'm sorry, a game and a half behind Illinois Wesleyan, but. With only one game to go and two games to go for Illinois Wesleyan, um, the best that they could hope for would be to tie them. And of course, Illinois Wesleyan, by beating the Vikings twice, would win the conference title. Sean Clemens makes the first shot, makes it 83-67. Second one also good, 83-68. And number 50. Aaron Thompson's going to come into the game. Aaron's a senior, he replaces Sean Clements, gets a nice round of applause from the fans. And Aaron Thompson's gonna be making his last appearance here for the Vikings, a 6'7 senior out of Greenville, Pennsylvania. Jordan Watson picks up his fourth foul, and once again, Dalksis is at the line. He's been living there tonight. He's a little frustrated, he's had a tough time from the line. He's played a great game. other than, sh than his free throw shooting, but uh, misses them both. He has a lot to be proud of. He played a whale of a game tonight. Watson on the left side, inside to Hoyt, moves inside, right hand hook. Good, strong move from Travis Hoyt. Watson picks up the foul. That'll be the fifth on Jordan Watson. Go to the other end, Illinois Wesley and a shoot two. Travis Hoyt had a real fine game here tonight. He played a uh, uh, very, very strong second half. He kind of keyed one of the Viking rallies and did a nice job inside, made some strong moves to the basket and showed the potential that next year will uh, be uh, a good year for Travis as he continues to improve. Dawkins misses again, third, third in a row that he's missed here, and he's having a heck of a time with the line. Second one up and good. 84-70, 37 seconds to go. Harrigan from the left wing, three, no good. Oh, I'm sorry, went high off the rebound, came back down through the basket. It was good for a three. The Vikings had cut it to 11. 84-73, 20 seconds to go in the game. Illinois Wesleyan brings it out front. Emilianovich. To Leehan. Looks like the Vikings are gonna let him run out the clock. Not gonna fall here in the final seconds. Four, three, two, one. Wesleyan, 84-73 victors over the Augustana Vikings before a very, very nice crowd here at the Carver PE Center. <laughs> Once again, fans, we'd like to thank Family Ties Productions for bringing